My name is Charles. 12 years ago, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. It set me on a journey to better understand this condition. It's taken me around the world as I hope to change not only my life, but others living with this disease. I've teamed up with some of the best in health to find ways to not only control, but to reverse. It does not take much to live for others. And what we leave is how we will be remembered. I hope at the end of this journey, we will see that hope is a good thing and the start of a better future. Welcome to Reversed. What a glorious first day we had. I'm sure it was a little exhausting and very fast for everyone, but the guests got a chance to meet all the doctors, the experts. You know, we brought in some, some other chefs locally. We brought in some dancers. I, I really just wanted, I wanted the guests to, to kind of not be overwhelmed, but also get a, a, a sense of, of the beautiful Costa Rica and understand that not only are they here to, to learn, but also to enjoy their time here, right? Because there's, you have to, when, when trying to be educated and trying to learn about things, you also want to enjoy the education, enjoy the process. Um, I'm just blown away by, you know, uh, the team of experts who really have a passion for, for helping people. That is so key, that's so key. And to, to get up on this second day and see Dr. Ken literally ready and, and, and probably at six o'clock in the morning, ready to, to get to work was just, um, it, it let me know that we are doing the right thing. It let me know that um, the information that we can change, that we can bring here, can literally change and save lives. It's, it, this is gonna be a good day. This is gonna be a good day. I have to take it. I can just get out and do this stuff. Yeah. You that, know? That ability was taken away from That you. was. My freedom was taken away. Um, when you get up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, do you think about having to put on a boot just so you can go to the bathroom? I can't even stand up without a brace on my foot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they took that away from me. Yeah. For profit. For profit. And without even investigating, the first doctor says, I don't know what to do. We just need to cut this off. Well, yeah. I'm mad at this. You, how mad? I mean, are you not furious? I am. I am. Furious. I am furious at the fact that I, mean, I, was, I had my life taken away. More than your life. They, they want to know that there is an answer. There is a proper way for them to eat, to reverse their type 2 diabetes. And they're hungry for the knowledge. The sad part is that they've been given so much false information over the course of their diabetic career. They've been told this and that, and they keep getting conflicting messages. And what happens when someone just keeps getting this story versus that story? Well, this guy said eat fruit, this guy said eat whole grains. When you get that for long enough, you just give up. If they had said, Lisa, this is what you need to do. All right, that would have at least given me a chance. Yeah. But they would have started me on pills right away oh, and ended up taking three different types of pills at the same time and then there was never hey Lisa you need to go learn nutrition you need to do anything so diet Just take pills take diet pills. wasn't even really at not the top option. of the list of a discussion no not at just all just take these pills just take these pills yeah. did any of your doctors ever tell you that too much insulin is bad for you no you've never heard that from a doctor no. that hyperinsulinemia is dangerous. No. No, whether it's your pancreas making the insulin or you're injecting the insulin. Too much insulin is very bad for you. And you've never been told that by a doctor. Never, never. I want you to be mad as hell that you have been mistreated like this for decades, decades, for profit. Never forget that, always add that, for profit. I'm learning these things now and I'm so excited. I'm mad at the big pharma who wants to make money off of me by, oh, 
Here, take some pills. Oh, here, take more insulin. Come on, we don't have to do this. I can actually reverse my diabetes. Am I 100% sure that I'm gonna get off of my insulin? Eh, maybe not, but it's gonna be substantially lower, which is going to help my body. I have been robbed. Yeah, you've been robbed, that's right. And you need to look at it like that. And the first few years of my medical career as a doctor, I gave the same advice that you've been given for the last 25 years. And that's why I've dedicated the entire remainder of my career to doing what I do, to make up for the Rogers that I'm responsible for. I used to give that advice. I was the guy who would have told Roger to eat more whole grains. And, and he can have cake, just match it with, match the insulin, it's fine, no worry about right, it. Right. I was that guy. And so this is almost a, a, a redemption for me to just, for the rest of my career, talk to people like you and say, hey, this is, this is all You don't, this is not the way. Keto is the way. I totally agree. Roger's not here right now. No, he's not. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I gave that <laughs> shitty advice in my early career. And I'm sorry you're still getting that shitty advice now. I'm sorry. But now I have a chance. Yeah. And hopefully we'll get rid of, we will, we will reverse this and yeah. hopefully I've not damaged my body so much from all this stupid advice. And I still have a chance. You still have a chance, absolutely. No matter how far down the road you are, there's still hope. That's what I need. That's what you got. So how you feeling, Jerome? Just to be here is, is I mean, in the surrounding, seeing these mountains, it's, it's putting me in a peaceful place. And, and with that, before you came here? Before I came here, I had some challenges. Um, last year, um, with the COVID, in March, I had to deal with that. And you mean you, you, you had? I had COVID okay. um, from St. Patrick's Day and I dealt with it all the way up until the second week of May. Mm. Um, most people that have conditions like myself mm -hmm. um, actually transition. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a survivor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So just to be here is, is, is amazing for me. Mm -hmm. um, it makes me emotional at times mm -hmm. because, I mean, seeing the numbers, mm -hmm. um, over 500,000 people have lost their lives. Right. Right. And I could have been one of those statistics. Right. Right. And it's amazing when you say you're a survivor, it's almost like you've been given another chance again. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. you, know, you live with diabetes, you live with HIV, mm -hmm. and then you had COVID, mm -hmm. right? We talk about you know, having nine lives, <laughs> but, but then again, we're still, I still see you in a place where it's that reality check. Yeah. It is, it definitely is. So, so how, how have you made some changes? And, and maybe some, what are some things you might need to implement to, to put you on, on track with, with where you want to be? Where I want to be, as far as where I want to be, I want to be healthy. Um, I want to continue to live life. I want to continue to pour into other people as much as they have poured into me. Um, so with that being said, I know that I have to make some lifestyle changes. Mm -hmm. um, and starting here, we'll start the journey on that lifestyle changes mm -hmm. as far as eating and doing different things the right way mm -hmm. and the healthy way mm -hmm. and taking all of this stuff that I have learned in the past mm -hmm. and leaving it in the past and starting on a new journey. In some ways he was talking about changes he wanted to make, but I could also see that there are some significant challenges he has. Certainly COVID being one of the most prominent. I think that's something that happened to him that he realizes that it didn't have to be that way. He realized that he really was very fortunate to survive like many people haven't. Right. So where do you see yourself? Are you, are you 
kind of, like I say, psyching yourself up, so to speak? Are you really in when a place I now? First, when I first came here, I was psyching myself up. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until I saw the different foods and, and whatnot, and I said, you know what? This is something that I can do. Mm -hmm. It's not where, okay, like when I was first diagnosed with diabetes, where I felt that, oh, okay, I can't eat this and I can't eat that. I saw the difference. Mm -hmm. Well, hopefully, with time, your body will- Readjust. Will, will come back to that homeostatic mm -hmm. state, right? That, that place where you need to be. Right. So I think you're in a good place. I think, you know, this is a good first step. Mm -hmm. And we just want to see where you go from there. Oh, yeah, right. definitely. Excellent. Definitely. Right, there you go. <laughs>so Dr. Vega, take it away, and, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy. I'm a nutritionist, but I also used to be a personal trainer for 19, no, 21 years. Oh. And uh, during that time, I focused a lot on not just exercise for improving the body in terms of the shape, but as well in terms of energy. And that's what we're going to do today, right now. It is not difficult at all. I'm going to show you the exercises and then we'll go through them. First thing I want you to understand is we are right now barefoot because the earth creates or has electrons and energy mm. is electrons and the sun also provides exactly the same energy. So we are basically charged at the two poles which is the earth and the sun and now we're gonna go through, and I'll explain why each area, through different areas that are linked to different glands of the body, the ones that produce hormones, and each gland and hormones are also related with emotional issues. So the moment we're working on each gland through these exercises that are called work in exercises instead of workout, so we are accumulating energy. We're not just improving our shape, we're improving our gland production, the hormones we produce, and also the emotional issue that is attached to those glands. So it's basically improving at all levels, from physical to emotional, okay? Coming up on Reversed, create and generate energy as if we were charging a battery. Today, we're gonna go and talk about testing. What we like to do, make life more simple. I was gaining weight and I had tried every diet out there. I felt tired. But once I found Carb Manager, I started losing immediately. Carb Manager is an app that teaches you how to do keto and it makes it easy. I use the daily weight log. The Keto Academy. I've benefited by having a community. Carb Manager gave me my life back. Download the app, set up your profile, and just get started. Keto Chow is a customizable shake mix that is also perfect for cooking and baking, giving you simple, nutritionally perfect meal options. Keto Chow. Make keto easy. Discover your favorite flavor at ketochow.xyz. My name is Charles. I am the producer and director of this wonderful series. We are a full-service production company that produces award-winning films and documentaries. We would love to help you create something special, be it a TV show, a film, or maybe something for your brand or company. Contact us today and do enjoy the series. There are many kinds of exercises and many kinds of exercise routines for different goals. Uh, you can do exercises for muscle growth, 
uh, to lose body fat. You can do exercises for conditioning and strength. You can do exercises for mental and emotional healing, and that's the ones, those are the ones we chose for today. So, every time you extend a muscle or a tissue, the tissue generates electricity. It's called PSO electric and electricity. So the first exercise, you're gonna have a dif different version, which is you just lean forward and backwards, okay? Uh, in a way that you activate these muscles in the lower back, okay. you're gonna lean forward and backwards. Okay, let's go and go at your own pace. Go. Try to breathe in through your nose. Exercise is a key to a healthy life. What we eat plays a major role, but moving the body is something I wanted them to also understand and truly focus on. Just a few minutes a day can make a world of difference, be it from a chair or a long walk. It goes hand in hand with the changes that they soon will be making. Great, this has been the working exercises session of the day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I am super excited to be with you this morning because today we're going to go and talk about testing. Um, measurement is the first step that leads to control. And once you can control something, you can improve upon it. Doctors have a phrase, test, don't guess. And that's what we're going to go through today. We've chosen this morning for a simple reason, as testing in the morning is the most important thing to do of the day. It gives you your base load, your starting point for your new day. How many of you, when you were given your diagnosis, actually sat down with a, a diabetic counsellor and told you how to use a meter? No one. Okay. Here is the most principal tool that you have in your arsenal to actually affect change. And when what we've seen in history is that they just give you a glucometer, but you're only seeing half the picture. Do you want to see half the picture or do you want to see the full picture so you can change things? Exactly. And that's what we're going to go through today. Let's go look at, uh, let's go dive into the, the tool. So um, uh, I'm gonna grab out your, your main kit, which is, which is just here, that's in your bag. You've also got some other little doodads in there. You know, gotta have a little swag bag after all. And inside you should find your handy dandy little, little case that is, that is just here. So what we're gonna do is gonna be measuring both your glucose and your ketones. So I want you to have a normal blood sugar. And ha have, has any doctor ever told you guys that that's the goal, is for you to have a normal blood sugar without medicine? No. Not without medicine. And, 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 and for real, for real, what is a normal? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. We don't yeah. know yeah. what that is. The normal measurement totally depends if you're following the ADA guidelines yeah. or perhaps following a doctor's guidelines who understands what a well-regulated ketogenic therapy is, yeah, and so, they're very different. So fasting, after you're through the dawn, dawn effect, you want a blood sugar that's between 60 and 100. Well, they all have very individual challenges, and, you know, bio-individuality is the most important thing. You know, one size does not fit all. Uh, we've certainly seen this in dogma in dietary interventions where it's like 20 grams of carbs, or no, we're gonna do the glycemic index. And you have to look at each one of those as their, in their individuality. And that's the beauty, I think, of testing and working with those individuals, is seeing what they need to change them. 
the gold I standard of measurement <coughs> is, is the blood, because as Gemma said, the blood doesn't lie. Um, the other two are, are measured in what's called an infallible way. A fallible way, should I say. Let me rephrase that. And that is a concern, because you've tried it with the urinalysis strips. Yes. And it wouldn't show up for you. No. Classic problem that we see. Or it says it's that you're deep purple on it, which means you're probably dehydrated. Let's, let's go into the Keto Mojo um, uh, to do a quick setup here. And as you go on out, it's a, it's a pretty good setup. I've already downloaded my, my app that is here. And to set it up, I will just simply pull the tab out the back, which will activate the, the battery Z on it. It's going to beep at me, and I'll see my Bluetooth light come on. And I'm going to just press sync on my phone. It will search for the device. And then once it actually finds um, uh, the device, it will actually set the date and time for me. Done. And it's actually doing it to Costa Rican time. All of the data, if you sync up to your phone, it goes to the encrypted cloud. Guess who has, it, with your permission, guess who also can have access to that? Right. Your doctor. Right. And your endocrinologist. They can download that with your permission. Right. And have access to all your numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with you individually after this. We're going to go through. We're going to get each of you testing. And then we're going to find back and get your measurements in the morning each day to see how you're doing after that. All good? Wonderful. Thank you so much. My keto friends, I am very excited to introduce you to Laura, who has my favorite new company. As you know, like harmful oils are in everything. My friend Laura's got you covered. Tell us about your new product. Well, thanks, Maria, for having me here. Uh, first of all, it's an honor for me to be sharing this kitchen with you. Uh, well, my product it's um, Ketonesa. Um, it's a no preservative mayonnaise, uh, and we have five different flavors. We have two seasonal flavors. Uh, which is this one, uh, tartar sauce that we only use oh, in summertime, that is right now in Costa Rica, <laughs> and uh, another one for Christmas, that it's sweet, so you would never find, like, it's a sweet mayonnaise, so it's something very... I gotta tell different. you, I wish the tartar sauce was all the time, because I like to eat fish all the time. <laughs> yes, I've heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> and the other three flavors, well, we have, like, the original flavor that it reminds us, the uh, the way that our grandmas used to make, make mayonnaise. Uh, the Bella Toscana, that is my personal favorite, that it has uh, Parmesan cheese and Italian herbs. Oh, yum. And chipotle whey, that is like everybody's favorite because it has uh, chipotle pepper and stevia as a sweetener. So the thing is that we're going to cook three different dishes, but because what we like to do uh, is to make life more simple. Mm. Sometimes in keto, you just get tired of balsamic and um, um, olive, oil. olive oil, so that's why we wanted to uh, bring you a lot of different flavors well, with the ketonesa. Yeah, it brings me another question. What type of oils did you use? I know. Olive oil. Olive oil. I, extra virgin, yeah. so it's pretty mild. That's really awesome. I wanted to make sure we introduced products that could enhance the keto lifestyle. There are so many different type of dishes and foods that can be made to never have a dull meal with keto. It's truly amazing. Keto Nessa is one that we wanted to share and allow the guests to have another tool in their keto lifestyle. Maria was also impressed with the product and got right in there to help introduce it. Coming up on Reversed. It's wonderful to see you all here right now. She stayed with me for six weeks after Roger died. And I'm, the, I'm in the same boat as you guys. I was pre-diabetic and 300 pounds. New Lysolin Weight Loss Shake for people with diabetes is a delicious meal replacement. It's the only shake with the patented Lysolin ingredient to reduce glucose. Lysolin works like a sponge to absorb glucose and actually remove it from your body to help you control blood sugar. Lysolin is a safe, natural dietary supplement shown effective in published clinical studies. Find Lysolin Weight Loss Shake at Lysolin.com or at Walmart.com. I struggled with my own mental health for over a decade. I suffered quite severely, and it was a really dark period of my life. And I wanted to invest you know, my, my whole life towards a big, hairy problem. And the only thing that I cared about that much was fixing mental health care. I hope one day that Spring Health is the company or the, the organization that people point to and say, that company has set the new standard for mental health care and continues to raise the bar.
Mental health is key in dealing with making changes and at times sticking to them. Carl was here by way of Spring Health, an amazing company that is helping so many with their mental health journeys. It's wonderful to see you all here right now. I'm so glad that this part is, is, is included because as we know, it's a mind-body connection. And we've, you know, we've talked about that already. So when you think about where you're at, Jerome, I know we already talked. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, we, we talked about some of the changes you're making. Mm -hmm. um, so what would you say about where you, know, you see with the group? How do, you, how do you relate to everyone else? I see that everybody's open. Everybody's open, everybody's receiving. Um, and I think that everybody wants to learn. Mm -hmm. um, Amanda and I had our little conversation um, earlier, and I think that we had some things that we were like-minded on. And we had some little pushbacks. Mm -hmm. And we're overcoming them day by day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And well, of course, you talk about overcoming pushbacks so for the life is as so, far as the keto. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's also understanding approaches, right? Understanding uh, and being open-minded. Exactly. And Janet, how about you? You're you're the you're the newbie, yeah. <laughs> quote unquote. So how are you doing? I'm doing really well. Um, I feel like I've in this short amount of time I've learned so much. Um, I thought I was doing. I'm like a gourmet chef and here I am thinking that I'm cooking all the right stuff and I'm learning that a lot of the stuff was actually part of the problem. It's a, it's a struggle because it's, it's a cultural thing and giving up this food, you know, their comfort foods and giving it up has been a struggle. We eat based on uh, you know, what we were taught mm -hmm. and of course um, I know uh, in many cultures um, there are uh, ways of cooking and preparing that ultimately may not be as healthy. And, and of course, Amanda, you're here to support your mom. I am, yes. Um, I'm really grateful to be here to, you know, be the support that she needs and also expand my um, view on health and diet. Um, I'm very similar to Janet of where I thought that I was eating healthy. I was doing like the vegetarian diet, I was being cautious, I would get chickpea pasta, mm. and then I looked at the carbs, mm. and I was just shocked at 30, 40 carbs, you know, mm. and it's, it just really takes you into this position of, of just reevaluating what you're, what, what you're eating. That helps me become more of a support for my mom. That's great. Mm -hmm. and, and of course, you know, Lisa, I mean, you know, you've had quite a journey. Mm -hmm. and, and emotionally, especially over the last couple yes. years, you know, losing your husband. Yes. So how are you, how are you dealing with all that uh, to, on top of everything else? Well, first of all, I have to say, this one was big help. Mm -hmm. She stayed with me for six weeks after Roger died just to make sure I was okay. Mm -hmm. So um, that's been awesome. I feel like I'm doing much better. Maybe not so much this week because it's a lot of memories have been brought back up. Mm -hmm. I'm angry that I've been fed all this junk all these years. And, and, and Roger was fed the same junk. He rejected the fact that he had to eat salads all the time. He rejected the fact that he had to eat vegetables all the time. If he had been able to eat the stuff that he liked, he'd be here today. He'd be telling me how to eat. And now I get the opportunity to feel a little selfish and take care of me. And this thing, she's going to keep me going. Um, she boosts me along. She, she, I know she wants me around a little longer, and I kind of like to enjoy it, too. Of course. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I hear you say that the, the, the emotional support uh, of, of Amanda and, and the fact that, you know, she's in your corner makes a huge difference. This has been great. This has been wonderful to, to talk and, and mm -hmm. you know, get to a little bit know more about your story and, and how you're um, learning mm -hmm. you know, in every way. And every one of you is, is here to learn. And that's the beauty of this experience. So I just hope we continue to learn and grow. And I look forward to talking to you some more. Thank you. Thank you. Carl. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thanks. <laughs> 
Okay guys, we're following up on what we did yesterday, which was the body composition measurements. We're gonna analyze step by step your actual state, and then we're gonna explain where you need to go. Ideally, uh, you will progress a lot in the next three days. Um, just to explain, we will see the numbers, we will see a graph that shows you are under your normal or you're over and there is the explanation and the technical the technical ones will let doctor can explain a little deeper okay so amanda this is you yesterday 166 pounds as you can see you're a little little overweight skeletal muscle mass 61.1 absolute pounds that's not relative not percentage is absolute and you're normal it's okay it's great body fat percentage 34.3 and here's the visceral fat as you can see you're 11 so that's not bad not terrible but obviously you got a little room for improvement um, let's talk about visceral fat what the heck does that mean Visceral fat is the fat inside your abdominal cavity. And it can be inside your liver or your pancreas, which is the most dangerous kind of fat. Or it can just be inside your, your abdominal cavity around your organs. So this number is very, very important to get your visceral fat as low as you possibly can. Okay, Janet. This is the weight, 189 pounds. As you can see, you are in the over area. Uh, not bad, it's gonna get better. Uh, skeletal muscle mass, consisted 3.5 pounds, meaning that you are over, but in this case, it's okay. Percentage of body fat, 39.2. And that's the percentage of body fat, all of it, right? The peripheral, the subcutaneous, and the visceral. And so that you're, you're carrying a lot of stored energy. And by eating a ketogenic diet, that's gonna allow you to tap into that stored energy and burn that energy for your daily energy. Okay, Jerome. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's uh, your weight, 2,010 pounds. Yeah, 2,010 pounds. <laughs> uh, two, two, uh, 210 pounds. <laughs> wow. Sorry about that. 210 pounds, 0. 0.5. Right. Um, as you can see, it's a little overweight mm -hmm. and uh, the skeletal muscle mass oh. it's in the normal range 81.4 pounds mm. body fat way over <laughs> is 31.2 as you can see is over and so what would you consider a normal body fat percentage for a male okay uh, versus a female we could be talking between 10 to 20 percent is mm. almost always double of the, the normal range for women because women have to prepare for birth. Mm -hmm. So the visceral fat is 13. It's uh, three points over the upper limit. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, what we want to improve. Yeah, it's doable. Of course. Totally. Totally. And Lisa. Yeah, so the weight is 282 pounds, which you, you're well aware is a little bit high. And that's okay because in the last two months, just halfway doing keto, you've lost 25, 25 pounds already. Mm -hmm. So you've almost lost 10% of that already. Mm -hmm. So you're off to a great start. Skeletal muscle mass, 75 pounds of muscle. That's good. You don't want to lose any of that muscle. I want you to keep all of your muscle. And that's another one of the beautiful things about keto is it tends to protect muscle mass. Mm -hmm. Body fat percentage, 51%. And so all, a few of the pounds of the 25 you've already lost were fluid because keto does cause an initial fluid shift, but you've already probably lost a good 12 to 15 pounds of, of stored energy, which is the nice way of saying fat. And one important point about this is, since you have heard us talking not about a keto diet, but keto lifestyle, right. that's precisely the idea since you're gonna start improving your body and all of your measurements, uh, we don't wanna talk about a diet because subconsciously, uh, 
uh, a diet is attached to pain, uh, punishment. You, punishment. Yeah, you, right. yeah, you lose the possibility to enjoy with others, and also it's temporary. And you understand this is a lifelong intolerance, right? right? And, and I'm the I'm in the same boat as you guys. I was pre-diabetic and 300 pounds, and if I went back to eating the carbs immediately I would start to deposit visceral fat. My A1C would start to go up. I would, uh, you, you get me? Mm -hmm. I, I have a lifelong intolerance mm -hmm. to too many carbohydrates. And I'm okay with that because I'd much rather be healthy than eat that piece of pie. All right, guys. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for Thank sharing you. your information. Coming up on Reversed. I want to make sure that we give you good food that you like. Jerome? Yes. You got some good news for me? You just tested. Because I don't have a choice. I was gaining weight and I had tried every diet out there. I felt uh, tired. But once I found Carb Manager, I started losing immediately. Carb Manager is an app that teaches you how to do keto and it makes it easy. I use the daily weight log. The Keto Academy. I've benefited by having a community. Carb Manager gave me my life back. Download the app, set up your profile, and just get started. Hi, I'm Katherine Arnston, the founder and CEO of Energy Bits, the algae tablet company, and I'm so glad you found us. We sell two types of algae, spirulina, that gives you energy and satisfies your hunger, which is why we call ours Energy Bits. And the other algae is chlorella, which helps you recover from your day, which is why we call it recovery bits. It pulls out toxins and builds your immune system. The two algae together will help you feel fantastic and like a superhero. That's why they're superfoods. Visit us at energybits.com. My name is Charles. I am the producer and director of this wonderful series. We are a full service production company that produces award-winning films and documentaries. We would love to help you create something special, be it a TV show, a film, or maybe something for your brand or company. Contact us today and do enjoy the series. Hey guys, I'm here because I want to talk to you a little bit about keto things that maybe aren't so healthy. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Of course. Because with the popularity of keto, man, there's been some really bad keto advice out there, hasn't there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And even you mentioned that just in this short time, you've learned a lot from not only me, but others about these products you thought were good. Completely, completely good. She mentioned soy, mm -hmm. you know? Soy has been touted as this health food. And there's now, you know, unsweetened soy milk there's tofu and all of this. And I'm not against having a keto vegetarian, but when it comes to like the soy proteins and that type of stuff, what a lot of people don't realize is it's very estrogenic. And when we think about things that are causing this high estrogen dominance, that causes a lot of issues when you look at you know different types of cancers like thyroid cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer. You really wanna look at this estrogen dominance, which men can have too. Prostate cancer is a usually an estrogen dominance issue, so. I'm talking to you too. Having this opportunity to be on Reversed really rocked my world. When I told my mom um, I was gonna go to Costa Rica and I had to leave my family, she's like, why would you sign up for this? I was like, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I take this opportunity to help people feel amazing and feel great? I wanna show everybody you can cook the food in very minimal time, all my secrets, all my tricks, so they can go home and be really successful. And nothing would make me happier than to stay in contact with all the participants. And a year from now, they're like, man, my world has totally changed. You know, I wanna make sure that we give you good food that you like and it's tasty. And so you don't ever want to go back. You know what? I've talked to so many people that have fallen off the wagon and they got one of those like junky gas station muffins or whatever. And they're like, why? It's not even good. <laughs> It's not even good and it's just that moment of weakness or peer pressure or whatever it is and I got to tell you when you start telling people I love that you you two are doing this together because I remember when I changed my lifestyle and decided to cut out sugar and gluten my mom made me my favorite pie 
and I love my mom. But people are triggered when you change. Mm -hmm. And even though you're changing for the better and you're becoming your best self, people are afraid you're gonna be different. You know, there, with the popularity of keto, there's so many different keto products you're gonna find out there. And man, I bang my head against the wall because there's now, you know, keto drinks out there and keto pizzas and keto muffins. And, you know, when you look at the ingredients, sure, maybe it's high fat, moderate protein, low carbohydrates, but it's just nothing but junk. You know, and a lot of times you'll find like tapioca starch in them or things that maybe someone could stay in ketosis in, but it's not ideal. You really have to be a detective, you know. You know, there y'all are out there floundering around listening to all these different associations on how we're supposed to eat. And it was a bunch of bull. I mean, how many of us have been told when you go on to keto, you have to drink a gallon of water a day? You have to or else it'll be bad. Guess what? You don't. Come on, let's make this a real lifestyle. You keep opening up my eyes personally to so many variations of like, whenever I first was introduced into keto, it was kind of like, oh, like it seemed, it, it didn't seem as exciting as what you've introduced. <sighs> It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing that you can't make. And yeah, it takes time to make it. Mm -hmm. It does. But you know what? I think that's another thing. Um, I had a, some severe depression before I started keto. Mm. And I think making things and seeing how happy it makes people mm -hmm. brings me so much joy mm -hmm. that that kind of became a natural antidepressant. And I think that it can for you too. Like when you're cooking for family members and friends, and you're in the kitchen cooking with love, that's just one That's just one way that you can lift your spirits on a bad day, you know? Yes. Nice. I'm already there. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Can't wait to get home and start. Awesome, and just know that we're all here for you when you are home. You're not alone. If you have those moments of weakness, I, I respond in a heartbeat. I do. Thank, Thank you, you for that. You're welcome. Jerome, yes. you got some good news for me? You just tested. So we ate a full meal mm -hmm. one hour ago. Mm -hmm. Was it delicious? Of course. Did you scrimp on your portions or no, did you eat until you were all. comfortably stuffed? I'm full. You ate until you were full. Mm -hmm. And you just checked your blood sugar and your ketones. Yep. What do we got? 104 for blood sugar. 104. Yes. And 0 0.8 for <laughs> ketones. So, <laughs> so you're... Your blood sugar barely moved with a full meal. Right. Well, actually, it was 148 when I checked earlier. Earlier today. So after you ate a meal, your blood sugar actually went down. Went down. That's keto. And now you are officially in a state of ketosis. You are burning your stored fat for fuel. Mm -hmm. How about that? Is that okay with you? Of course. Especially looking at those numbers in that other room. I know I'm this stomach going somewhere. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm pretty excited right now. Two of the house guests are now in ketosis. Uh, Jerome and Lisa both one hour after eating a full meal that was delicious, nutritious, and both of them ate until they were full. They didn't calorie count. They didn't portion control. They just let their hunger be their guide. They ate till they were comfortably stuffed, and one hour later, both of them have an essentially normal blood sugar, and both of them are in nutritional ketosis. This is pretty amazing. I knew keto was powerful, but I, I've never seen it work this fast. Uh, I'm continually amazed by the power of a ketogenic way of eating, and this is just further evidence that for type two diabetics, keto is the way. Lisa? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Dr. Hey. Kim. Oh, good, you're about to check. I was, yes, I was about to turn in. I just wanted to come yeah. check one more time before okay. you turn in. Yeah. Let's see how things are going. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, if I'm in higher ketosis, you're gonna see me jumping out of here. Crazy. How are you feeling? You feel okay? I feel great. You feeling good? I, I do. No, I do. you don't feel 
I don't sluggish, have any, no. No low, no hypo symptoms at all? Not at all. Perfect. I feel okay. like I need to bounce around for a little while. Uh-huh. I mean, I'll be honest, this time of the night, I'm usually in bed asleep. Right. So. It's it actually quite common when you're in ketosis to have more energy. And a lot of people, for a few nights, they have trouble getting to sleep because they've got so much energy. Wow. Um, yeah, when I think about it, I just get up and do it. Yeah. And being alone. Yeah. Of course, my dog thinks I'm crazy. So blood sugar, 92. 92, so it's already it's dropped good. down too. Still good. But it's not dangerous. Not in any way dangerous. Yeah, that's a beautiful blood sugar. And it's been, what, two hours since you ate now? Ish? Hmm. Give or take? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. There we go. All right. You don't see this. It goes in my pocket. <laughs> Point five. Point five. Still in ketosis. Okay. That's good. the energy. Okay. So right, I'm gonna good. leave you alone, let you get some rest if if All you right. feel like going to bed. I've got to do this because okay. I don't have a choice. Okay. I have to do this for me. Yeah. Because okay. this is my life. Yes. I agree. I yeah. agree. And I don't need a crutch. Enough said. Okay. Thank Sweet you dreams. So much. All right. See you in the morning. Yes, sir. Okay. You have a good night. Good night. I so wanted this season to be about learning and seeing the changes that can come with education and inspiration. Seeing Jerome and Lisa's numbers improve in only a day or two is mind blowing. This is truly what I was hoping we could share with the world. That using keto and fasting and having the right people to take the time to educate can save so many lives. It truly just warms my heart. And we're only just getting started. Tune in to the next episode of Reverse. I do want everybody to know, like, this is awesome. Like, they have playgrounds and stuff. Like, oh, man. I, I could see a phase of relief. If your insulin's high, it's hard to burn fat. Just wanted to take a break for a little while. We have been going nonstop.